All right, so Harley Davidson's about to reveal some incredible new motorcycles for 2023. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Big news, big news, big news. If you haven't been on social media today or on the Harley Davidson website, you uh, missed a little message that Harley put out today. So I'm just gonna read through some of the stuff that they put up right here, and then we're gonna get into the discussion, talk about everything else. 2023 marks the 120th anniversary of Harley Davidson, a landmark year in which we'll honor our rich heritage, celebrate with our community, and reveal incredible new motorcycles and product offerings. Join us for the kickoff on January 18th. Now let's break this down real quick and dig deeper into it. So the 120th anniversary for Harley Davidson, a huge milestone for the company. So kudos to you guys, amazing. Uh, 120 years being around. And in those 120 years, the company has made it through a lot of stuff, which a lot of other companies did not make it through, uh, such as World War One. World War II, the Great Depression, uh, the recession. So there has been a lot of big life turning points and the company is still here, obviously still going strong. And it's, it's just incredible to say, hey, you know, this is an American company, started over 120 years and, and they're, they're still out here pumping product and it's, it's cool, man. It's, it's just really cool. Now they did say they're gonna honor its rich Heritage that to me sounds like we could possibly have another revival on our hands like could could that be I mean You're celebrating 120 years. You want to celebrate your heritage. I think having a nice revival bike would kind of kind of kick things off And if that's the case what revival bike do you think Harley Davidson should use next what bike to you kind of stands out the most that you want to see come back and just see a modern version of it. Now, let's move on to the next point that we're here to talk about. They wanna celebrate, they wanna honor brand new bikes. They said it right there, new bikes for 2023. Um, brand new bikes, what comes to mind? I don't know, I'm thinking about a few different things. A, I'm still hoping and keeping my fingers crossed for the Bronx. Two, um, like I said before, I think they're gonna be making a smaller Pan America. That's for sure coming down the pipeline. And three, I think they might do something crazy. I don't know if we're ready for it, us as Harley Davidson consumers. I know some people out there have been asking for it, but I I, I don't know, to me it's like, a, I don't know if we're there yet. So could we be talking about a bagger with a Rev Max engine in it? I mean, this, this they, they wanna make this year explosive and they wanna really celebrate and they wanna honor the community and, and we're talking about new products, new bikes here, so. Could that be an option for this year? I don't know, like, it, that that to me, that would, yeah, that, no words for that. Now, alongside that, I'm pretty sure they might be coming out with a new Nicer, new Sportster with a smaller engine. Um, obviously, right now, we have the Nicer out, but I think uh, having another Sportster with the smaller Red Max engine in it uh, could be another thing. Um, now, could we be seeing all these bikes on the 18th? No, I'm pretty sure they might be showing one brand new bike that day, and then throughout the year, they might do like a mid-year launch, and then something huge for Sturgis probably, who knows? I mean, they're, they're always dripping stuff here and there throughout the years, but on the 18th, um, for sure we can, for sure, for sure, wait to see something brand new. They also spoke about product offering. So what could that mean? That can mean new accessories for current bikes, new accessories for new bikes, uh, maybe some new engines, who, who knows, man? Maybe some, some bigger CC engines are gonna be available now for the current bikes on the market. Who knows, that, that I don't know. I think last year they, they, they did pretty good with their, with their accessory lines. Um, they're really trying to expand now with, you know, going really big with the clothing. Um, I mean, they've always been really big on clothing, but I think in the last year or two, they're kind of pushing really, really hard for that. So I'm, I'm assuming that we can see some really cool stuff coming from the catalog on that end. And last but not least, let me just say this again. Can, can we possibly get a bigger engine on the CVOs this year? Or on the STs, who knows, man? Right now, the STs have the 117 alongside the CBOs, which is the biggest engine that Harley Davidson offers from factory. We're not talking about the 131 because that's the motor, that's a crate that you gotta buy on its own. It doesn't come on a bike yet, um, but who knows? I mean, this it's a big year. They, 
who knows what we can see. We might see a 131 or something this year. Um, but I'm, I'm very, very eager to see what's coming on the 18th. I will be tuned in to the, the live stream that Harley Davidson will be doing. And I'm excited to see what the company is coming out with and, uh, and to see what the future holds for us. It's 2023, it's the 120th anniversary for the company and I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a big. And I just, I wanna see the company succeed. Um, I, I wanna see what the future holds for us. Simple as that. Drop your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know what you guys think might be coming out. And like always, if you wanna see more content like this or stuff on my Rogue Glide, my Lowrider S or my FXR, tune in. Like always, I have to force you with you. Ride safe, enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.